All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashim Yel Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders, great millstone that rule well. Uh, blessings to the elect and the remnant of Israelites scattered worldwide who are predestined to be saved. Now, this is Brother Yakal coming with a short video, but I'll try to make it really short. And this is basically about women because there's brothers in this truth that some may have come into this truth, the Lord brought you into this truth. You might have had a woman and maybe, you know, the differences between you, you split up from that woman. Or you might have had a woman before you came in the truth and, you know, you're in the truth and she ain't got a problem with what you're, you're doing, man. You know, she's down for you or whatever. That's good, man. That's a gift. That, that That's a blessing, you know. But there's many brothers in this truth that don't have a woman, you know. And um, to be honest, you know, my situation, I don't have a woman. And to be honest, I don't really want one, you know. And I can't justify it in, in the eyes of the Lord, you know. Myself as well as, you know, people that, you know, watch the channel. You know, I've got health problems and stuff like that. You know, right now I'm on crutches. I've just come out of hospital, had a hip, hip replacement surgery, you know, which is my second one. So, you know, I, I can't, uh, and even if I was 100% healthy and stuff like that, I can't justify the time to go out and socialize, all right, meet a woman, get a number, phone her, you know how women are on the phone, and I, and listen, I used to be like that, before I came into this truth, man, I had two numbers, man, all right, I had two phone numbers at one time. Which is all bullshit, man. You know what I mean? And one phone was like, you know, my family and friends and stuff like that. And the other one was just, you know, uh, you know, if I met girls or whatever, I'd give them that number, this, that, and the other. You know, I used to spend loads of time speaking to them, going out on dates, and it never ever worked out. It always fell apart. And I'm and I'm glad that it it, it uh, you know it happened like that. And I learned from that period of time how bugged out I was. And also I learned how bugged out these women are. And how they can they can lock it off like a tap. You know like how you can switch on a tap, switch it on and off, and the water comes out and it's you know it spurts out and then it stops. They can cry over you one minute and you know, say they love you, this, that, and the next minute they can be gone, man. And you know the reason why that is? It's because of the era and the time that we're in. Alright? So, we're going to go into what Apostle Paul said. And 1 Corinthians 7 and 1. Alright? Now, concerning the things whereof ye wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Alright? That's the first thing that Apostle Paul says. It's good for a man not to touch a woman. You are... You are, um, this Bible was written for the elect of Yahweh by Shimei Only them, the 144,000. And the rest of the elect, you know, the elect ladies, the remnant of Israelites who are scattered worldwide, who are predestined to be saved, which is in the Revelation 7 and 4. It wasn't really written for anyone else. All right. It definitely wasn't written for you heathens. And that's the thing about these heathens. They come up to camp. And then when we prove with the scriptures that it's only for us. You know, this this Bible, this truth. And everyone knew that. In the Middle Ages, everyone knew that. Before the Middle Ages, everyone knew that. It's just because we fell out of power, man. Due to our sins. And, you know, the white man got a hold of the Bible. And he started colonizing everywhere. And bringing the Bible with him. Here it is, he's raping uh, 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 and pillaging and taking your uh, goods and colonizing you and making you pick tea leaves for no money and uh, cutting your hands off if you don't get enough rubber from trees. And then he's teaching you about God. But that teaching has destroyed people because they think that they've got a part of this gospel when it's only for us. But really, it's only for God's elect. And there's going to be elect ladies as well, man. All right. So, if you want to be a part of that elect, you have to sacrifice 
And one of the sacrifices you need to make is your time. All right. Okay. We're going to get into that actually. Let me get this scripture because uh, I think it's a good edifying scripture. If this thing will let me. You know, uh, what's it called? Where is it? Ephesians. Um, this thing is all over the place. Ephesians 5. You know, and when I do these uh, lessons, it's for me as well. All right. Uh, Ephesians 5 and 15. See that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. All right. Verse 16. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. So we're in an evil time, right? So Apostle Paul said, look, concerning things thereof is good for a, a man. For a man not to touch a woman. Because he was so into doing the Lord's work. That the Lord put a spirit on him. Not to desire a woman. So that's why he's saying that. But he said nevertheless. Verse 2. To avoid fornication. Let every man have his own wife. And every woman have his own husband. So you know. If you're yearning. You're burning. You know. You can have a woman. Alright. That's fine. But this truth comes first. Same with the woman. She can have a man. But if you're in this truth, all right, you know, you know, the this truth is to be honest, for a woman, all right, a woman, your man is your God. You know? That's how it is, like like Sarah called Abraham Lord. We ain't gonna get that in this society. Alright? We ain't gonna do that. And then verse 3, it says, Let the husband render unto the wife due benevolence, which it means goodwill, and likewise also the wife unto the husband. So you might be in that position, and you might have a woman. Fair enough. Have, have that woman. If she's cool with you, down with you, that's, that's your blessing. But if you're brother in this truth, and you really want to do this truth, you know, don't desire uh, to have a woman. You know why? Because I'm telling you, I've seen, I've seen three now, guys, Fall out of this truth for women. Alright. And you know. And recently I've seen it. You know. A guy that was in this truth. And his burning desire. Was to have a woman. And it took him out of this truth man. And the sad thing is. He thinks he's still in this truth. You know. And he's bugged out and doesn't doesn't know it. Now. Go to First Corinthians 7 27. Art thou bound unto a wife. All right, so if you have a wife, seek not to be loosed. That's right. If your woman is, is, is down for you, you know, she might not even be in this truth, but she's down for you, she's doing right by you. Don't seek to be loosed. And thou art, art thou loosed from a wife? So let's say you don't have a wife. Seek not a wife. You see? He said, seek not a wife. Now, we, when we go on in the verse, he's going to say why. All right. All right, but you can have a woman, all right, you meet a woman, whatever, you can be with her, etc., but it comes with a caveat, and we're going to get to that. All right, verse 28, but, and if thou marry, so if you get a woman, whatever, thou hast not sinned, so isn't that a sin? And if a virgin marry, and that means a woman of marriageable age, she has not sinned. Nevertheless, in such, nevertheless, such shall have trouble in the flesh. But I spare you. What does he mean by trouble in the split in the flesh? If you are in a relationship, you will have problems, and those problems will eat up your time. All right. And time is important at this point. All right. And we're going to go down here, First Corinthians seven and twenty nine. But this I say, brethren. All right. The time is short. There you go. The time is short. All right. It remaineth that both they that have wives be as though they have none. All right. So that's a commandment. So if you have a woman, all right, you, you have to be as though you have no woman. All right. So camp, if your camp's on a Saturday, that's your priority going to camp. If your woman says, oh, why can't you just take off one day? 
uh, of, of camp, just miss one day of camp and take me out and take me shopping. You know, you tell that woman to get, you, you tell that woman where to go. Because time is short, especially in the time we have now. Don't you know that the elect means an election? Meaning there's millions, of, if not over billions of, there's over a billion Israelites worldwide. But the Lord woke you up to this truth. So that means it comes with sacrifices. And the sacrifice is your time. And women, all right, they take up time. Okay. Okay. Do you know what I mean? So uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying this, but I'm backing it up with, with the scriptures. This, the, I mean, the reason why this is there is, is a guide for us, man. Okay. All right. So, I, but I say, brethren, time is short. It remaineth both that have wives, be as though they have none. Okay? There you go, man. All right. And there's another main point here. All right. Verse 31. And they that use this world and not abuse it, and not abusing it, for the fashion of this world pass away. And and the fashion of this world right now is very, very wicked, man. All right? We are in the ratchet era of women. I put in ratchet era of women. And look what came up. And it mainly are women that came up, which is sad, man. You know? It's really sad, but it's a ratchet era. And they're influencing the youth. And we're going to give you examples of that, man. All right? Um, that's very too. But I would have you without careless carefulness he that is unmarried careth for the things that belong to the lord so when you're you know a man and you're single and you're in this truth you care about the things of the lord what next video to do what to study next etc that's how my mind is working all right and every brother that is in this truth what is is working and you're supposed to be doing multiple videos every week not just oh just one one video a week. Apostle Hart put the order out years ago. Three videos a week, man. Alright? Three videos a week minimum. You know? And if you can do more, do more. And study and, and etc. You know? But if you have a woman, that's gonna take your time away. You know? And that might be your ass. Alright? Alright, verse 33. But he that is married careth of the things that are of the world, how he may please his wife. Yeah, take her shopping. And there's nothing wrong with those things, but it's just we ain't in the time for that. If you're in this truth, that's a sacrifice you have to make. All right. Okay. So it's best, it's best if the brother's in his truth, you know, it's best to stay on your own, man. You know, when you come from out from wherever you're going or camp or whatever, you know, at least you go home and there's no drama, etc. And that will eat into your time. Now, it, we're in the ratchet era of uh, women, right? Because of the music and the influence that is going on, you know. And... Um, the Lord said that the, the the Lord said that there'll be I think it's the second Timothy lovers of themselves man okay this is prophecy man all right now let's go to verse one so we know that we're in the last days because we're seeing the human behavior in the world. And we're matching it to the biblical prophecy. 2 Timothy 3 and 1. Know this, that in the last days perilous times shall come. And we're in those last days. So perilous times shall come. So we need the Lord's protection. So therefore we need to um, use our time wisely. Myself included. Verse 32. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. And it says men. But it's also the women as well. Alright. They are lovers of themselves. And I'm going to give you examples. Covetous, covetous means to have what someone else uh, 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 has. You know, you want what someone else has. And like in London, 
a Nigerian guy got killed because he came out of a club with an expensive watch and the bouncer saw that he had an expensive watch and called a gang and the gang robbed him and killed him for his watch and it turned out to be fake but it was a fake designer watch and they killed him for that see that's being covetous bolsters proud blasphemers disobedient to parents unthankful and holy that's the era that's the time that we're in without natural affection truce bakers false incontinent despisers of those that are good that's the time that we're in we're in that wretched era all right so if you go out on the meat market all right and try to get these women these women are bugged out you know why because they're they there's so much messaging you know that uh all of this is 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 madness man I really hate to see our women like this. And it's not just the black woman. The Latino and Native American women, they listen to the same ratchet music and they're influenced by it as well. All right. But it says, lovers of themselves, right? Lovers of themselves. For men shall be lovers of themselves. It's women are also lovers of themselves. All right. So let me give you an example, man. This is an excellent example. So you're already using chat. All right. That's and, awesome. and we're not it's missing out problem. and brothers I'm it's telling you this with like I'm telling you this with kid. all sincerity man our last two years of I'm I'm telling you all sincerity we're not missing out on much all right now watch this dating I came to a realization that females would rather post on TikTok than go see a therapist <laughs> younger than me is getting married today meanwhile i have credit card debt i am in a toxic situation with one of my exes last week i was so broke that instead of getting an uber to the airport i had a random guy from hinge drive me and this year i have had chlamydia twice so far happy wedding now i am asian and i'm an absolute genius and i have never made a mathematical error <laughs> in my life now if we take strong Plus independent, it equals STDs. Now, this is how this girl would react if someone told her that she's the problem. No way, not this time. Yeah. You created it. Yeah. Not this time. No, not this time. No accountability. Totally That's it's the fiction. average woman today, man. It's fiction. it's fiction. We made it up. We made this one up. It's a made-up tale. It's a total fabrication. Do you hear that what she said? She says he's Instagram famous, you effing bum. That goes into what Timothy said. Alright? He says men will be lovers themselves, but these women too. Because this devil has elevated... Because you have to understand that this devil, he's not into women, he's into men. You know, he's a natural born homo man. So he's elevated women through feminism. And they think they can say whatever. See, that's why them places like Iran and all these other countries, they don't want their women becoming like this. You know? Uncouth. They're just, just, just uh, uncouth. Uncouth means no manners whatsoever, man. I mean, this woman looks good. You know, she's had surgeries. You know, she's got the implants, this, that. You know? Why go out on a date with her? Spend, why spend money with her? Why give her a free course meal? Just to lay with her, man. You know? She's got nothing to offer other than her body, man. I despise women like this. But that's what the world has created, man. Saying I'm Instagram famous while sitting in row 43 CB is absolutely preposterous. Saying I'm Instagram famous is like saying I'm a manager at McDonald's. Like what? Sit down. Nobody cares. That's right. No one gives a fuck about you being Instagram famous. So that's the time we're in, brothers. You know? We're in the ratchet era of women. So why compromise our duty 
to Yahaba Shimia Shai for these women. And in the kingdom, we're going to get the women. They're going to be in order. You know, and our women are going to be in order. And our women are going to get real men. You know? So, but in, on both stages, you have to understand that this devil has used women like this. And I saw, I don't even know who this bitch is, but this bitch, I saw uh, a video and it said before they were famous. And this, this bitch has had a nose job because her nose was broad, man. You know? So, all of these women that they're bringing out, they've had surgery, they've had butt implants. I mean, this woman, what's her name, Sexy Red, uh, is the new ratchet woman on the block, alright, she's, people like this, they're doing real harm, Discover real harm, they're idols, you know, they're idols for we women no to actually so worship and emulate, and it's working, okay, so when you hear, see Sexy Red and... This woman, I don't even know who she is. She's the one that cried on the video, said she sold her soul, and and this that. But she acted in the video like she didn't know what she was doing. She goes, "I don't belong to myself no more. I sold my soul." You knew exactly. Listen, when they sign the contracts, all right, they can't allow the record label to trick you. They perfectly told you you have to sell your soul to the devil. All right. If you want all these goodies fame notoriety money and they don't make a lot of money either all right you have to be perfectly aware because the lord will not honor it all right you have to be perfectly aware and when 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 they actually do a ceremony all right because they do ceremonies pentagrams and stuff they actually conjure spirits and put it in these women and these men all right and that turns them a hundred percent gay or lesbian because it's a very unclean spirit all right the man John Todd go on, go and look him up John Todd um, just put him on YouTube all right even the music CDs the masters that they have they put it in a pentagram and conjure up a, a principality a principality is a, a leader of a legion of demons all right and put it in that master so that goes to every copy so when you listen to this music it has a spirit on it all right and that's why um these women are acting in this way they're demonically possessed and they are idols for other women to worship so we're not missing out on anything but the harm that they're doing i mean look and we don't even know, like this woman or or this thing called Sexy Red, people think that this is a tranny. And it could be a tranny, you know? Because she hasn't got no, she's got barely anything. And she's had implants and so forth. And she looks very boyish. She doesn't look feminine at all. And remember the God that they worship. Which is what? Baphomet, which is an androgynous demon, man. Eh? That's the god of the music industry. So that's why you, you're hearing all this P. Diddy stuff. And see, it's a goat, it's got tits, you know, it's androgynous, you know. So you might be lusting over these women, and they might be boys originally, man, eh? you know. See, look, so we're not, we're not missing out on anything, but the harm that they're doing, I'll show this and I'll close it out, you know, it's the next generation that they're destroying, man, you know, so in short, those that have wives be as though they have none, if you, if you do have a woman, this truth come first, and if you don't, don't desire a woman, man, you know, and if it's hard for you, pray, man. Pray to the Lord about it, you know. But, you know, each, each, each person to their own. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. All right. Look at, I mean, look at this. 
I don't know how old these are. These these kids have to be at least maybe three. Three to four maybe. No, 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 no. Look. So why is she dancing like that? That's the harm that they're doing, man. You know, destroying the next generation. And the person that filmed this should be ashamed, man. And the kind of music they're listening to. You know? Now, when, I'm not saying all women like that, no. But if you're in this truth, we have to redeem the time. Because what? The days are evil. So I'm going to leave it at that. To the next one. Blessings to the elect. And shalom.